Hi, my name is Bob Adney and I teach percussion at McVale Center for Music. One of the really fun percussion instruments is the instrument that's called the xylophone. This is a xylophone bar and it's made out of wood and the wood is a very special wood called rosewood. Now, in a moment, I'm going to show you the xylophones, but before I do that, let me tell you that sometimes when you play percussion, you are told that, wow, you should maybe learn to play piano. And it's a really good idea to do that because if you know anything about piano, it really helps you play the xylophone. So I highly recommend any work along those lines, learn to play the piano, and that will be very helpful when you play the xylophone. Now, I'm going to show you three different xylophones. There's going to be a high xylophone, a medium xylophone, and a low xylophone. And I think you will enjoy what they sound like. I would like to show you the high xylophone. And notice that this bar is this long. And notice that this bar is longer. And let's see what happens when I play them and what you might notice about the tone. So here's the long bar. And now here's that shorter bar. So what you should notice is that this note sounds higher and this note sounds lower and then that would be something that's true about xylophones. The shorter the bar, the higher the note, and then the longer the bar, the lower the note. It's a really a fun instrument. The box itself serves as a resonator so it helps amplify it and makes it sound a little bit louder than if we didn't have the box. And let's hear what the notes sound like. When you play these notes, you play in the middle of the bar. That's a good place to do it. And we generally use just a softer mallet, so it's got some type of covering on the head. And you generally hold towards the back end of these mallets when you play them. We can do rolls on the xylophone, and that's done by playing both mallets in the center of the bar and you alternate your hands right, left, right, left. And a good way to practice that is to start slow, gradually get faster, and then it's kind of fun. You can move around to different notes and make up your own song. Speaking of songs, let me play for a song for you. Uh, you're going to know this one, and here we go. Here we have the medium xylophone, and if you remember, the other xylophone uh, was smaller. You can even maybe tell by the way it's looking in your screen right now. So look at the, this note. Look how long that is. Now, do you remember, is this one going to sound higher or lower than this one? So let's listen to them and see what it sounds like. So this note's the higher note. This note is the lower note. Here's the song that we all know. Here we have the big or the bass xylophone, and we can also say the word marimba. Now, these notes get really big, and I can't even really hold it up because uh, they're attached to this instrument, but just believe me when I say that the lowest note on this instrument is about that long. So from the end of this mallet to that mallet right there, which is a lot bigger than the other two instruments that you had seen. Now, you might remember I've been playing the musical trolley song on the different xylophones, and let me review for you what we did. The very first xylophone, the high xylophone, that song sounded like this. Now, the medium xylophone sounded down here. And now the bass xylophone sounds down here. So you can hear that it just keeps getting lower and lower and is really a deep, dark, rich sound. 
One of the things that we like to do on instruments like this is sometimes we play with four mallets and what this does is allow us to play more notes and we can play really rich dark textures. make some very beautiful sounds. We can also play, besides be playing very, very low, we can play really, really high. Listen with me as we go up the instrument. So this goes really uh, very high and really very low. So this is a wonderful instrument. And again, we can call it the bass xylophone or the marimba. Let me play for you just a few uh, short examples of some of the music that we might like to play on the marimba. And another fun example is this one. Have fun playing all of these instruments in Musical Trolley this week. Bye!